And I'm joined now by man of the match, Nabil Sharif. Uh, Nabil, two games, four goals, two man of the match awards. Uh, what's the secret going into this season? To be, to be honest, I'm more happy with the six points than the goals. But yeah, it was one of them. We thought we didn't play the greatest on Saturday, but we got the wins the first game. And today we came out fast tempo, got the goals and just relax and enjoy the football and we're happy and we've got a big game Saturday and just kick on now really we know we ain't done anything it's two games so yeah and Diamonds fans have been very pleased to see the way some of the uh, attacking moves were sticking together it really looked like you were enjoying playing with some of the other lads like uh, Luke and uh, Joel I mean yeah it helps having two natural wingers and a natural right back which we didn't really have last year so you're kind of playing players out of positions so and everyone works hard. Everyone looks fitter, feels fitter as well compared to last year. And a slightly different dynamic up top tonight with uh, Chris Dillon obviously ruled out with an injury and Tom Lorraine coming in and adding a bit of physical presence and a bit of aerial power to the attacking line. To be quite frankly honest, it doesn't matter who plays out of the three. All three of us can do a really good job. So Chris Dills and Chanks could play together or vice versa. So it doesn't really matter which two of the three play. And uh, now looking ahead, you've already mentioned to Saturday, uh, the FA Cup's been kind to us uh, these uh, past few years, but we've got a tough game against Wellingborough. Your early thoughts on that one? There's no easy games, we know. Um, we've played them a couple of times pre-season, so I'm not sure what they're like this year, but we know it'll be a hard game, so derby at the end of the day, so we know what we'll have to do. We'll recover Thursday and get ready for Saturday. All right, well, thanks very much, Nabil, and we'll look forward to seeing you here again after the Wellingborough game. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm joined by Andy Peaks after AFC Russian and Diamonds 3-0 victory over Tame United at the ASM Stadium. Andy, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, delighted from the first minute to the last. I thought he was excellent tonight. Um, comfortable 3-0, if I'm being honest. Uh, couldn't have asked for more, really. He was delighted with the tempo across the whole game. Uh, shape was good. You know, all the things I asked for, it was spot on tonight. 
and uh, just one change to the starting lineup tonight. Uh, Tom Lorraine coming in up top. Yeah, Chris Dillon was knee was a bit sore. He jarred it in the game Saturday quite early on. Actually, didn't want to get through the game, so we're hoping that's not going to be too serious. So we left him out tonight. Brought Chief in on the bench, and obviously Shank started. And uh, certainly, it didn't hurt the Diamonds going forward. Uh, the 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 guys looked really strong up front, and we created a fair few chances and and got two 0 up fairly early on. Yeah, no, we played well. We had a bit of a game plan. We had a report on them from Saturday and we felt Shanks would cause them a lot of problems and it was really key. We got the second balls off of Shanks and we did that, um, but we didn't just go long. We mixed it up as well and we got it out wide and we got it into Nabs' feet um, and it was one of them really where the, I think everyone played their part and I think 2-0 was great. It was a great first finish from Nabs. Um, it was nice to get the second goal from a set piece um, from Bully. Uh, so we were quite comfortable really. Um, the key for me was not to give them a goal and give them a massive lift. 2-0 was, didn't think flattered us at all. Um, but like you said, they had a couple of crosses coming just before half time. We scrambled it clear. We defended the back post really well. And you think if anything goes on there, 2 when it's a different game altogether. So it was important we started the second half well. Um, we did exactly that. And so what were your words to the lads at half time coming in at 2-0 up? I was really positive about how well we've played and I said just you know it's half time don't go and spoil you know all your hard work in the first half why not play as well second half said the game's not over um, keep the tempo when we've got the ball when we haven't got the ball slow it down um, we didn't have to go and score again keep a shape um, and I just feel we can play it that way from home especially when we're a goal or two goals up because we've got so much pace in the team we can sit back and soak it and still catch them on the break and we did that quite a few times tonight. And uh, you're able to make some changes uh, later on. Fernando Baltock still coming into midfield, followed by uh, Daryl Smith uh, and finally Chief Bertang. Uh, nice to have a squad of players where you can uh, change the dynamic a little bit. Yes, yeah, fantastic. You know, you look at the bench tonight and you think, crikey, some good players sitting there. Some even, you know, some good players behind them in Bunts and Jack and Dill. So that's exactly what I want it to be because I want to be able to change it. And tonight was the perfect time to change it. Get the young kid on the midfield. He's excellent, wants the ball all the time. He's, he looks like he's got a good future, knows exactly what he's doing. So he's a plus. Obviously, Smith is come in and we know what he's all about. Just, you know, he's waiting for his opportunity. He realises the wide players are playing well. And then Chief's sort of come in the last few weeks and looks bright at training. Each time he's come on, he's good. So he, at the moment, he's another good option. And just uh, a couple of players coming off towards the end. Um, Luke Fairlam, Fairlam going down uh, as he chased a long ball from uh, Joel Gyasi. And then uh, also Joel himself then going off right towards the end. Yeah, I was hoping it was just cramped with both of them. Luke probably a little bit sore than Joel. Joel's definitely cramped. Um, Luke's hamstrings a little bit tight, so we're going to have to be careful with him. We'll monitor him Thursday. Obviously, we want them both for Saturday. Uh, but the bigger picture is it's a long season. I'm not going to risk anyone in any game at the moment because you've just mentioned we've got a strong enough squad. Say, young Harry's not even here tonight. Another one who's a you know, great prospect. So... I'm not going to risk people as much as I want to be strong Saturday. You know, we'll see how people are on Thursday night and be ready for Saturday. And early thoughts on that FA Cup derby with Wellingborough Town? Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's a local game and it's going to, like I said, it is their cup final. We've got to make sure we make it ours. We can't just rock up expecting to win. We've had two fantastic results the first week of the season. Um, but it's really important we maintain that Saturday. And, you know, I can guarantee if we put the effort and commitment in tonight, match with, a, you know, skills of passing and being clinical will give anyone a game at any stage of the FA Cup. Great, well uh, good to see you in such fine form Andy and we look forward to seeing you again on Saturday. Cheers Ralph. I don't need love.